Okay, let's start Logger Pro. And when you start Logger Pro, you can see I just disconnected this LabQuest Mini. I'm going to plug it back in. When you plug in the LabQuest Mini, it'll recognize the sensor that you have connected. In this case, it's the PhotoGate timer. But we're going to have to make a change here. See where it says Experiment? There's a pull-down menu where it says Set Up Sensors. I'm going to go to LabQuest Mini. And right there, there's the PhotoGate. I left-click on that. And for some reason, it defaults to motion timing. That's not what we want. We want gate timing. And when I set it to gate timing, there are two things that it will eventually calculate the velocity and the time that the gate is actually blocked by the ball as it moves through. But wait, there's one more thing I have to do. I have to tell how big the ball is. Set distance or length. And of course, I have already measured the diameter of the ball to be 1.91 centimeters. Uh, your mileage may vary. I think you want to measure the diameter yourself. But that's the diameter. I press OK. We should be ready to go. All I have to do now, let's get rid of this dialog box there. Um, oh, you know what? I think I am going to drag this particular window over a little bit. Oops, change its size a little bit here. So I can see the velocity. Up at the top, that'll be the velocity. The gate time is how long the gate is blocked. And the gate state, either it's blocked or not blocked. Those will be a bunch of ones and zeros. All right, we're set to go. It does, in fact, know what the diameter of the ball is. I'm going to fake it by just putting my finger through the photo gate. Press collect. Whoosh, I pulled my, moved my finger through the gate and hit stop. And apparently, it thought my finger was moving at 1.499 meters per second, which is what we see over there. Uh, let me do that again. I'm going to put my finger through a lot faster, real fast. Ooh, look at that. That was 6.087. Um, just for fun, I'm going to do that one more time and move my finger through slowly. At only 0.311 meters per second, so that should work. Assuming you have the right diameter for the ball, and assuming that your sensor, your photo gate sensor, is in fact on, what did we want? Oh yeah, gate timing, then you should be all set. And that's it. There you go.